This is Worst Movie Fights versus Best Movie Fights, where we pit the best movie fights against each other so we can find the best ever movie fight. This time we're going to pit two titans of martial art movies against each other with Jet Li against Donnie Yen. Fist of Legend versus Ip Man. Fist of Legend is full of gloriously inventive fights. And maybe that's because of this guy, who I've spoken about before. He's worked on The Matrix, Kung Fu Hustle, and this excellent movie. Now, if you know my channel, you know I love reaction shots. They really can enhance the scene, if done well. And they lend another layer to a fight scene. And this scene is full of them. In this instance, they also add to what is already a delicious piece of choreography and wire work. This film was made in 1994, so this is prime Jet Li, and he looks it. He is quick, agile, and acrobatic. This is great. Now, as you can probably tell, the speed of the footage has been cranked up, but it works really well. Most fights do this, because, you know, if you were to watch a fight normally in the street, it would be a bit like this, but we don't want it like this. We want it like this. Does this remind you of anything? With its dusty aesthetics on the clothes and the ground, as well as its angular impacts. And this is spectacular. In volume four of Bad Movie Fights versus Good Movie Fights, I asked you guys to tell me who the best was. Jackie Chan or Bruce Lee? So many of you said Jet Li, which wasn't one of the answers available, but it did show me that there is a huge love for him. And although he's not been present for a while in the industry, his work lives on. This film is him, if not at his best, close to his best. It's brilliant. Another name which was thrown in the comments is this guy. Ip Man is the 2008 classic about Ip Man, the real life figure who had a hand in the development of Bruce Lee. Many attribute him to being one of the most important figures in the history of Asian martial arts. And this scene is the final battle in the film. Again, we have reaction shots. What I really love about this scene is that the reaction shots mean so much. We have two opposing sides, the Japanese soldiers and the captive Chinese citizens. So already we have a clear story. Not to mention this little shot of the concealed gun, which again adds to the drama. We also have wire work in this scene too, but it's way more sparse. Ip Man is a movie that is going for something more realistic than Fist of Legend. Dunny Yan is really great in this film. If we were picking the best between Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee, Jet Li, and Dunny Yen, then when it comes to acting, Donny easily wins. He's played such a variety of roles across his whole illustrious career. And this film might just be his best performance. Even here in the fighting, his acting really shines through. We understand his convictions and his emotions. And this is complemented by the director. And just as we breathe a sigh of relief, We are hit with more drama. Great scene, wonderful film. Now this is a tough one. Both are so great in their own ways. For pure filmmaking, Ip Man wins, but for martial arts and the spectacle of the scene, Fist of Legend wins. So it really comes down to what you would watch a movie for. As a filmmaker myself, I would choose Ip Man, but I just can't get this out of my head. It's brilliant, as is the scene. So Fist of Legend wins here. 
But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Write the words legend or man in the comments and let me know which scene you would choose. Now, with Fist of Legend winning, that means it now competes against the other winners from previous episodes. So as promised, here's the ranking of the winners so far. At one is Captain America Civil War. Two, I'm going to have to put Fist of Legend. Three is going to be Flashpoint, another Donnie Yen classic. Four, The Revenant. Five, The Punisher. Six, Batman vs Superman. And seven, is hard target. So that's how the ranking is looking at the moment. Now I understand that some losers of previous fights might actually be better than the winners of other fights. For example, I would put Ip Man in ahead of hard target and BVS. So what we'll do in a future episode is reevaluate the winners and losers and maybe pick out some losers who maybe should be in the ranking. In the comments, let me know which two fights should be up next. As always, there'll be a poll where you can vote for your favorite top four winners so far. It'll be on my X and potentially in the community page. Now, if you've got this far and not hit the like button, what are you waiting for? Let's grow this channel. Speaking of which, also hit the sub button too if you've not done that so far. This has been Worst Movie Fights versus Best Movie Fights.